Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about switch statement in Java. In our previous classes, we already discussed about if, else, if, else statements. If you watch those statements, understanding this is very, very easy. So please watch our previous classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, so we, we take an example and understand how switch statement works. First, we are going to understand how the execution of the switch statement goes and then we go with the, in which situations we are using switch statement. Uh, so that is how we go step by step. So coming to this example, int num is equal to 2. So we are taking some number value, number is equal to 2. Switch brackets num. So what's the value that present in num? Num is equal to 2. If you take num is equal to 1, so switch 1, switch 2, switch 5. If num is equal to 5, switch the num value which consists here is 5. So how this switch statement works is switch open bracket, closed bracket. So this is the body of the switch statement. So once you, you provided the number value, it is going to check the cases inside the switch body statement. So case 1, case 2, case 3, case 4, default. So what's our number is showing? It is showing 2. So it is it will the execution flow moves from directly to the case 2. Wherever it is matching, the num value is matching. There it will go and it starts executing that block of code. That is how switch statement works. If num is equal to 2, we go to case 2 because 2 is matching here, this 2. So how this case 2 will be? We have to understand that. So case 2, after that whatever we have written that belongs to block of code that belongs to case 2. So this block of code is going to be executed. Remaining blocks are not going to be executed. Only case 2 block of code is going to be executed. Here we have written one line system dot out dot print of executing two player. After that at the end we have to mention break statement. This is how switch statement is going to understand that this is the end of the case 2. Otherwise it keeps on going executing the next lines. So, for each case at the end, what we have to write? Break statement. Otherwise, it keeps on continuing until it found the break statement. That is how switch statement executes. So, first try to understand case 1 statement break. Case 2 statements break. You can write any number of statements. You can write block of statements. Any number of statements, whatever the code. For simplicity, we have written only single statement system dot out dot print ln. Whatever the logic you need to mention here, you can mention that logic here. Case 2, case 3, break statement, case 4, break statement, default. This is the statement. So if num is equal to 2, which state which block of code it is going to execute? It is going to execute case 2. It is matching here. So system dot out dot print ln of executing two player. What is the output it is going to display? Two player executing two player. So this is how it is going to execute the switch statement. But we need to understand that in which situations we are going to use this. Suppose take an example like this. Suppose if you open a video game. When you open a video game, it is showing a message that you click on any one player, they are, they, are, they are going to provide some options, you can choose any one option, option 1, single player, option 2, 2 players, option 3, 3 players, option 4, 4 players, remaining options, default options, other options. If you click on, if you click on 1, single player game has to be executed, if you click on 2, means you are providing the input 1. 2, 3, 4, whatever the options they have provided, you are providing that input. If you provide the option 2, which, which logic has to be executed? 2 player logic has to be executed. So the input you provided is num is equal to 2. So now it goes to case 2 and it is going to execute the executing 2 player. Whatever the logic you mentioned here to execute the 2 player game, that logic is going to be executed. Understand it, single player logic is different from two player logic. Two player logic is different from three player logic. Similarly, four player logic. 
as the number of players increases you have to change the logic assume assume that so if, if you click on num is equal to 2 in the in the in the display screen your input is 2 so it is going to be taken in num if num is equal to 2 which logic has to be executed two player logic code has to be executed that code should be written here in this case after completion of this break that is how we are going to use in this way of situations we are going to use switch statement and one more thing if you you need to understand so output is executing two player let's take the same example if you if you miss the break statement here case 2 num is equal to 2 so it starts executing from here case 2 system dot out dot print enough executing two player break statement is missing here it keeps on continuing until it found the break statement so the next statement is system dot out dot print enough executing three player after displaying this it is going to execute this after this it has found the break statement this is how switch statement works it, it will check for the case it starts executing from here until it found the break statement it keeps on executing the code so whatever the logic we have mentioned here whatever the logic whatever the way we are using the switch statement the same logic we can apply using if else if and else statement also we'll show you the example but what's the need of switch that's why in many of the latest languages like python there is no switch statement you can use the same logic whatever you can do with switch statement you can do the same using if else if and else let me show this example if num is equal to 1 execute this block of code else if num is equal to 2 any one block is going to be executed whatever the num is matching that block of code is going to be executed if num is equal to 2 this block of code if num is equal to 3 this block of code if num is equal to 4 this block of code all are false else this is what default means default means if your num is not matching any of the numbers you have provided any of the cases you have provided here then it is going to the default case the same thing here else case else hoping that you already watched our previous examples if else if else if uh, how it is going to be executed so that's why we have written like this uh. so in this example in this example what is the output it is going to execute executing two player and executing three player so output is executing two player and executing three player Anyhow, the code is available in our website. You can check the code from our website and you can use it. And you can download the code and you can execute it. Hope you understand this example. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.